Okay, what we're doing here is finishing off the male standard. I'm just adding a little bit of brass trim on the edge. Before we start, it's worth pointing out a couple of things first. The rivets themselves, we recommend you heat them up red hot, so anneal them, and then just allow them to air cool. The advantage of that is when you're crimping the rivets, it makes them a lot softer. Perhaps not so much of an issue with rivets this size, but when you get up to the larger ones, like this, for the, say, 8 and 9 millimeter rings, it will make a difference, certainly when you're talking of 25, 30,000 of these. The other thing you need to have, obviously, is the riveting tool. As you see, looking at this, we've got one side it's got a little recess on here, turn it over and you've got on the other side again another little recess. The reason for that is when you crimp the rivet you not only get the shape on the one side, curved shape, but you also get it on the other side as well. When you're adding the trimming, it's very simple, it's just a case of following the line. I don't know how clear this is going to come out, but if we look here, you can see this ring here and this ring here. What I'm going to do is take brass ring and thread it in behind this one and in behind this one, and then closing it with a rivet. So take one of the rings, it's worthwhile opening them out a little bit, not too much because you've got to close them again, and there we go. hopefully I'll be able to line this up. So taking that ring, threading it through the back of that one, and then through the back of the other one, like so. Just wait for that to get into focus. Then close the ring as much as possible and take one of the little rivets and then push that through the hole on the one side and then through the hole to the other. It's worthwhile also trying to hold the ring with your thumb and finger there. It just helps it when you're using the riveting tool, saves the rivet from popping out again. So take the riveting tool and again during the recesses that we mentioned earlier, that the rivet sits firmly in each side. And then crimp. And you see we've got smooth finish on either side and then on to the next one. 